Okay, let me repeat that. So what we're going to do here is just a little experiment um, reminding us or showing us how to do um, the volume by displacement of an irregular object. Okay, so notice the irregular solid object that I have. Okay, does everybody see that? So it'd be very difficult to do the length times width times height thing that we talked about when we're finding regular solids, okay? So this one we're going to have to do, figure out the volume by displacement, okay? So what I've done is I've taken a graduated cylinder and I've um, put some amount of water in here. And in fact, it's exactly 77.2 mils, okay? And I don't know, here I'll let you see if you guys can see that on camera, okay? And then what I do to figure out the volume is I'm going to drop this into the graduated cylinder, okay? So notice, let's get all the air bubbles out of there. So what, what do you think happened to the total volume? What did it do? It increased, right? It increased, right? So the combined volume is going to be the volume of the water plus the volume of that irregularly shaped object. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so I'm going to look at the, so it's now 82.3, okay? So I'll let you see it too. Okay, 82.3. So do you, get, do you guys want me to pass this around? Are you guys set with it? Okay, so the volume total equals 82.3 mils. So the question now is, what is the volume of the irregular object? Okay, so do you know? <laughs> Here, let's just write out the equation of how do we figure out what the volume of the irregular object is. So the volume total is going to equal what? The volume of what? Water plus the volume of what? The object. The volume of the object, right? So that is the equation that we're using. Thank you guys. Okay? So what do we know about? Do we know two of these things? Yes. Can we can we rearrange this equation to figure out the volume of the object? Yes. yes. So what would it be? The volume of the object is going to be what? Eight. Volume total. We got to rearrange the equation first. Then what? Minus volume. Of the Minus volume. the volume of the water. Okay. So do we know the volume total? What is that? Yes. Eight point two point three liters. Eighty two point three mils. Minus what? 77.2 mils. Okay, so when we do that, what did we get for the answer? 5.1 .1 mils. mils. Okay, so that's the volume of the object. Well, we like to do these um, volumes of solid objects in cubic centimeters sometimes or oftentimes. So what did we say the conversion factor between milliliters and cubic centimeters was? Do you guys remember? One, one mil one equals one, one, one cubic centimeter. So could we use that conversion factor to figure out how many cubic centimeters? Yep. So what will we do? Multiply. What will we put down here? One mil. One mil. Thank you, everybody. Up here. One cubic centimeter. Cancel, cancel. Like that. And what do we get? 5.1 centimeters cubed. So that's the volume of my irregular object. Okay? So remember, this is only the two sig figs because we're going to one decimal place, uh, one digit after that decimal place. Okay? Any questions on doing the volume by displacement? Here, I'll just show you guys once again what the whole system looks like. Okay? So you guys can check out that volume on your own, everything on your own. Any questions about this before we kill it? Okay, wonderful. So do all those other problems that I